Hello, it's Ruby, and you might be able to slightly hear in my voice, but I got fresh as flu, uh, the worst bout of it that I've had at university. Fortunately though, by the time I filmed this video, the worst of it was over and I was finding it easier to focus on studying again. But notably, I did take a significant amount of time away from work, sleeping and resting. I know that it can feel impossible to take time off, especially when deadlines and assignments start to mount up but I've come to the gradual realization that we sometimes need to take that time. We hear it all the time, you can't cut a tree if your ax is blunt, but it's so very true. If you're tired or ill, stressed or unrested, you're not gonna perform your best, you're not gonna be your most productive, and perhaps most importantly, you're not going to enjoy what you're doing. We're reaching that stressful period of the term now, and however glib it may sound, I just want to remind you to pay attention to your body and to look after yourself. Looking after yourself consistently can help to prevent burnout, illness, long-term tiredness. You are working hard, you are doing well, I know you're putting in loads of work, and I just hope that you can be kind to yourself. Anyway, having said that, I was researching paper folding here for my course on bibliography. This book in particular was a very methodical run-through of early modern bibliography. It was written in the 1970s and I could definitely tell that as I was reading it. And honestly, I found this so interesting. I learned so much. I took some great notes. I um, mean, it's important because it was one of the first books on the subject, but I found it was overly practical and didn't really marry book history with the actual content of books. There were very few textual examples, you know, from actual books, which is what we increasingly see in recent criticism around bibliography. So the key thing here, and the reason that I say that, is with a text like this, with a critical essay, it's just so important to be critically reflective on it. And I know we know that, I know we're told that, but it can actually be useful to read older texts from the 70s and 80s for this reason, because it's easier to be critical of it and to kind of remove yourself from the argument and really question it. And that can be a really useful exercise, which you can then carry forward to newer texts. Next, I did some transcription work. Um, I mentioned this a few times, but, but I have a class for two hours a week where we learn early modern paleography. We're working towards being able to read secretary hand, which was the predominant vernacular handwriting um, in the 15 and 1600s. Apologies that I am jumping in a couple of days later, but I would completely lost my voice at this point, which is why I'm not speaking to camera on this day in the video. You can still slightly hear the remnants of my lost voice, but one thing I'm really making an effort to do this academic year is to keep up with creative pursuits and keep trying to be creative because I think creativity is a muscle and if you don't use it, you lose it. So I'm trying to either write or draw in the mornings, not for very long, it could be just for 10 to 30 minutes, but I find it's quite a good way to switch out of academic mode because um, basically everything I'm thinking about at the moment is academic related. And I'm not complaining about that because I'm loving it, but um, I think it's nice to have that mental balance trying creative things and doing creative things and like using different parts of your brain can actually help you to think better in like other areas and approach um, questions and thinking in new ways. So I'm a big advocate for improving creative, for trying to be creative. So during my gap year, one thing that I started doing was illustrating on Procreate. Um, I did all of the illustrations for this year's academic planner on Procreate, for example. And I'm currently in the process of trying to get better at it. So I did a very quick 
10 minute stint of this Skillshare course this morning on illustrating in Procreate and just discovering some more of the features and things that you can do on Procreate. Now this of course brings me on to the sponsor of today's video which is Skillshare. Skillshare is a fantastic platform for just learning something new and gaining new skills like illustrating on Procreate. They have a tremendous number of courses available like you're scrolling through and you want to do all of them. I've added so many to my wish list and it's actually so unrealistic I don't know how I'm going to get through all of the ones I want to do. You can learn about graphic design, creative writing, animation, video editing, music production. Um, Ali Abdul has a fantastic one on productivity. There is just so much that you can learn through Skillshare and I love how you're learning from like real people. So if you do want to learn something new and you've been meaning to try Skillshare, then the first 500 people to click on the link in the description box can get one month for free and then 40% off the full year plan, which is pretty amazing. But anyway, with that said, I'm gonna get on to doing some academic learning um, and get back to working through the course material for this week. So I headed out to Boots because I wanted to pick up some masks. Also the sushi, oh my gosh, I love that sushi so much. Um, because I only had a cloth mask with me at university and I don't want anyone else to catch this horrible bout of food. I also checked my pigeonhole and I had two letters. So of course I sat outside to open those. This beautiful card on top was from my grandma and genuinely made me smile so much. It's such a pretty print. I did a little bit more work after that and then I tried on my new beautiful mask and I went down to the Fellows Library which is the most beautiful library at our college. Um, it's only available on appointment but it's where a lot of the old precious books are kept and I was so excited to see this. Um, genuinely this was like the highlight of my week. Um, but I met with our fantastic librarian and he showed me a few of the books in the collection. Um, this is because um, for my bibliography class, we were asked to find a book in our college library and then just write down some thoughts on it. Because I was kind of ill, I wasn't studying in libraries, I was studying in my room. But I had a meeting with my dissertation supervisor this afternoon, so I was preparing for that. I like saying things aloud because they help me to make sense of ideas, and that's why I'm talking to myself, if you're wondering. Anyway, I headed to meet my supervisor after that and genuinely I'm so excited and grateful to be working with her because I love her work and I feel really lucky that she's supervising my dissertation.
So then here I was just writing up thoughts on that trip to the Fellows Library from earlier. You can see I'm looking at my phone, that's because I took some pictures of interesting pages. So in particular, I decided to focus my thoughts and thinking on drop cap letters, which are like historiated letters, but not illustrated. Oh, then there was a fire alarm, which wasn't fun. So I went and stood outside for a little bit. And then I got back to doing some more research and I made this little PowerPoint with thoughts. And then here I was just reading from that book that I took out of the library earlier. Um, I had already read this essay, but I didn't read it that closely and I wanted to go back and take proper notes on it. So that's what I was doing here. And then I finished the evening by doing a little bit more reading of that Mackenzie book in bed. Honestly, I love Mackenzie's work. Um, he's one of my favourite critics. So I'm speaking in a debate next month next week oh my gosh it's really soon and so here i was just doing some preparation work and research for that Then I quickly requested a few manuscripts from the Western that I wanted to look at and I did some reading, basically. Then I went through the handout for um, that bibliography seminar again and I just wrote up some kind of thoughts and questions on the handout. I find it useful to spend about half an hour just preparing for a seminar to make sure that you get the most out of the time. Okay, I'm now going to go and watch a John Don sermon. Okay, now I didn't get any clips of this basically at all, but this was such a great way to spend the evening. One of the professors was doing a reading of John Donne's 
Easter sermon and so I headed to a chapel in Oxford to listen to that with some friends from my course. It was so fantastic and incredible to hear one of John Donne's sermons said aloud because you get so much more from it when you read it on the page and it's much easier to get a sense of like the rhetoric and structure of the piece when it's said aloud. But yeah, I loved it. And then afterwards I went to the Rad Cam with my friend Holly and she kindly took these videos of me. So thank you, Holly. Uh, me awkwardly there and here are our awkward feet shuffling. But um, anyway, moving on to the next day. Um, I'm just about to head out. It's 10 o'clock and my seminar starts at 11. I'm also feeling so much better today, which is why I'm actually talking to camera. I have felt awful for the last like nine days and I feel like I'm finally coming out the other side of this, which is amazing because it definitely has put a slight, a slight greyness on this week and like I'm so excited to be here but I've just felt so bad to myself that I haven't been able to properly enjoy it. I think I'm coming out the other end now which is good. Oh I also bought this sanitizer thing. I think being ill has just made me super cautious. Um, but I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna go to the library and go to the rad cam because there's a book I really want to get out. Well, I can't get it out but I can read it there. Um, there's an essay which just looks really good and it should be useful for my seminar today. I'll bring you along. I'm sorry I didn't film anything today as well so far. It's already 10 o'clock and I woke up at 6.30 and I've been studying since 6.30 but all I filmed today was my walk so sorry about that but I will try and film today. <laughs> this is not very aesthetic is it? I should hide it. Oh look as well my mum sent me this beautiful card, little new home card. I was so inconsistent with vlogging this afternoon, so I just wanted to fill you in what I did and then I'll just put the clips on over the top because otherwise they're just not gonna make any sense. So after going to the Radcliffe camera and reading that essay which I'd found down in the Gladstone link, I went to a seminar. Um, this is actually my favorite class. We're looking at the history of books and bibliography and what it means to study the book as a physical object and I'm just absolutely adoring it. And this class is actually the reason that I chose this master's program so I'm really glad that it's living up to my expectations but after that I met with my study group um, for one of my other modules and we just spent an hour and a bit going through the set questions that we've been given for that week then and then I went to the western which is where the old manuscripts and archival material is stored at Oxford and I'd requested these three books. I showed me requesting them the other day and they were really, really cool. I don't know if I'm allowed to share with you the photos that I took, so I'm not gonna show you, but they were handwritten documents, a transcribed sermon that someone had written out and the handwriting was massive and really, really neat as well, which I wasn't expecting. 
um, and it had been hand bound. And then, then there was a recipe book which this woman had written and at the end there were these kind of potions for if you got ill and so it's really interesting seeing food recipes being put side by side with uh, kind of medicinal, it kind of gave like a witchcraft feel. It's quite a nice combination and shows kind of the domestic nature of that kind of alchemy. Um, and then the final one was my favourite, it was this medical, I'm going to say medical journal. There were these tiny green illustrations in the margins and I just hadn't seen like ink that colour before, but that was really fun. And then I went back to my room to study. <laughs> In the evening, I read this essay, well, I started reading this essay on the colour revolution, um, which was given to me by my module convener for my option module. Um, I just wanted to read you this extract from Charles Dickens quickly. It was a town of machinery and tall chimneys, out of which interminable serpents of smoke trailed themselves forever and ever and never got uncoiled. It had a black canal on it and a river that ran purple with ill-smelling dye, and vast piles of building full of windows, where there was a rattling and a trembling all day long, and where the piston of the steam engine worked monotonously up and down, like the head of an elephant in a state of melancholy madness. I had meant to finish it this evening, but I wasn't able to, so here is a quick clip of me finishing reading it the following night. And then after studying, I had the most brilliant evening plans, so I met up for dinner with two of my course friends and we went to this English pub and then we went to go and see The Alchemist by Ben Johnson which was being put on at the Maths Institute of all places, bit of a random place to stage an early modern play when there are loads of early modern buildings in Oxford, um, but it was really really great. I read Ben Johnson before but I've never read or seen The Alchemist but I loved it. Um, it was very rude as early modern comedies often are um, and uses a lot of bodily humour but I really love the premise of it and uh, the idea of like performing performances of something. I love that kind of meta theatricality. If you ever see The Alchemist on I'd recommend going to see it. I don't think it'd probably be as good to read. But yes that brings us to the end of this video so thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Um, as I say there'll be a link in the description box if you want to try that. Um, but yes I will see you very soon and um, I hope that you have more than just a productive week.